Nowhere is the diversity of the plant kingdom more evident than in the world's tropical rainforests. They support nearly half the total number of plant species on Earth. Plants thrive here because the conditions for life are so ideal. The climate is wet, the temperature is warm, and the sun provides constant energy. Rainforests grow in four layers. The tallest plants are the emergents, giant trees that break through the canopy to get the sunlight they need. Trees grow rapidly throughout the rainforest and form a dense canopy of leaves and branches. They gather energy from the sun far above the ground. Most of the food for plant-eating animals grows within this canopy layer. Beneath it, the understory is a cooler place with limited sunlight. But smaller trees, ferns, and vines manage to survive here. With so little light, plants find it tough to thrive on the forest floor. Instead, decaying plants and their parts send nutrients back to the soil. Each layer of the rainforest is packed with plants that offer resources that eventually reach us at home. Some of the most surprising are medicines that fight illness and disease. Anthropologist Glenn Shepard traveled to the Manu Biosphere Reserve in Peru to search for medicinal plants. For nearly two years, he lived among the Machuganga people to learn about the treatments they use. This tribesman tells Glenn that the sap from this fern helps heal deep wounds, and he believes the leaves of a nearby tree provide a cure for snake bite. The Machiganga have knowledge of at least 300 or 400 medicinal plants that I've collected so far. 25% of all Western pharmaceutical drugs are derived from compounds first discovered in the rainforest. And and yet, by the same token, only 1% of all rainforest plants have been studied. The chances are very high that we could find cures for all kinds of different diseases in, in the rainforest. Traditional medicines used by the Machuganga effectively treat their most common illnesses. Glenn fears that if the knowledge of these people is not passed along, valuable information about these plants could be lost forever. He packs up samples to study back home. There's a whole chemical and evolutionary universe right here, just above our heads and all these trees. And we know almost nothing about it. And it's, uh, it's my job to try and unlock these secrets. And no one knows the answers better than people like the Machiganga.